Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode five of Old IU. Um, we're going to roll on uh, with another, I would say, uh, interesting item. They're all interesting. I, I use that word a lot, but uh, we're going to focus on what I think is one of the more forgotten Big Ten championship teams, and that's the 1983 Big Ten championship team um, with this team signed uh, basketball. Uh, the first thing you may notice is the fact that a couple of the panels are painted uh, with the white background, the block eye. Uh, there's actually, this was pretty common to see for a lot of different years that has this, uh, this painted uh, design. Uh, they did these for a lot of uh, Big Ten championships, 74, 75, 75, 76. I've seen them for the NIT championship in 1979. But this is one that I, I have yet to see another of. And, I, and honestly, a lot of stuff for this Big Ten championship season is not out there. I, I, I have not seen it. And I think in terms of the modern championships that I would say from the 70s on, this season and really the 1989 Big Ten championship seasons, there's not a lot of signed stuff out there. But uh, the interesting thing about this is that obviously besides the painted design, these were done on campus. Um, the same person, the same department did all these that – uh, you may have seen or pictures of or, or you own one yourself, but it had uh, all the players on there, Uwe Blob, Ted Kitchell, Randy Whitman that were still there, uh, Stu uh, Robinson. One of the interesting, you got Cam Cameron, uh, who obviously played football and basketball at Indiana and then came back to IU to be the football coach in 1997. Um, one of the interesting signatures on here is Landon Turner. And the big reason that Landon signatures on here is because he was still so closely associated with the team. Obviously, his career was cut short because of his automobile accident in the summer of 1981. He was expected to come back after their 81 title and have a very, very successful senior season, which obviously did not happen. He was paralyzed. But he had a very close-knit connection with Knight, obviously, from that point moving forward, but also the teams. And he was closely associated with a lot of the guys on this team that were still there, especially Kitchell and Whitman, because they were on that 81 championship team. But again, it's you don't see a lot of stuff for this season. Um, it's a you know a team signed balls from this era are not relatively rare. But again, um, to have one painted up like this, it's not uncommon. Unfortunately, a couple of the panels were signed on, uh, and the the acid from the signature kind of bled through the paint. But still a very cool piece. Still something that you don't see very often, and still very unique. So, thanks for joining us in this episode. Um, Again, don't forget to subscribe and check out uh, IU Artifacts on Twitter. Thanks.